Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noting. In this episode, I want to share with you two notes set up um, using geometry notes in Blender 3.1 that might actually surprise you. Um, so what is this? It's just uh, currently it's looking like a, like a random curve, like random arc. I guess I, I'm calling it like random, like a random walk. But if you think of like a cricket, and it's, it's doing like this really random jump and walk around the place and then you trace you trace the the motion this is what this is what you're getting uh, it seems really complicated but it's actually really 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 simple and the notes itself is also a little bit weird uh, you might realize uh, a bit later that what I'm doing here was just to combine like a like a multiple arc um, so it's using like instance to generate and instance this arc and then the last bit is combining everything and the rest is actually doesn't matter much like for example this is just like an extruded, extruded curve and I, I actually rotate it as well so it looks correct so I can I can adjust the the thickness of the line so that that part does it's not really important what's really important here is this position transfer attribute and the position that coming through into the set position so that's the most important part the rest of them is not that important um, there is this resample curve that's resampling the curve so it could uh, it could be using the vector position that's coming from this curve okay so so only this this is the main nodes the rest of them is really just super basic let me try to explain so this is probably uh, uh, back like way way back ago like years ago I, I'm trying to do like similar setup but using Sphere with Sphere uh, you can kind of draw lines like this and then you can replace every single lines with an arc imagine imagine like a like a edge adaptive nodes we might be getting that uh, for geometry nodes as well but um, here I'm kind of trying to do that uh, uh, simulate the same ideas so let's get to these components okay look look I started with a quadratic bezier okay quadratic bezier give you a start middle and end starting points middle points and end points if this middle points is up here we get the arc so that's really simple that's the start okay that's the arc and then I'm using geometry to instance so I can use this geometry and then instance it okay that's also important and at some point I, I also use to realize instances okay so somewhere <coughs> somewhere along the <coughs> somewhere along the line I have this uh, I have this curve okay this is also this might be interesting This is how I kind of scatter the instance of the line. Underneath is might be it doesn't look much, but it's actually a lot of things going on. As you can see, I have uh, this curve line and <clears throat> resample resample curve over here, but there is also a resample curve over here that I can control. This is for the quadratic base here. So this will be multiplied and instance on the curve line. Okay, that's that's first thing to understand. And it's it, it's randomly using the instance, and then I scale the instance randomly to get different height. So different height of the curve also. And then I use rotate instance just to randomize the rotations of the arc. Without this rotate instance, it's gonna be 
the same arc all over resemble curve and transfer attribute so this is the most interesting probably uh, the most unusual and if I if I give like a like a simpler example maybe you can understand this better here we have three different arc okay the first one the small one and the second one and the last one I could actually use the scale to control the different scale okay three three different arc of quadratic Bezier and I join them all together and I resample it and I'm transferring the position of the curve so three different positions I can I can translate the curve okay and I'm transferring it into this curve line so this curve line a single line that's been resampled using this count represent these three different lines they are kind of connected and occasionally we actually okay this is a good one you know good example occasionally you you might plug this differently and get a different result so that uh, that's something that you need to keep in mind sometimes the order sometimes the order might be wrong but I think it tries to get uh, the fact the vector based on the index points sometimes depends on the points and the positions you get a kind of like a wrong result so this is simpler because I'm using join geometry and simply just make three different curve okay like a bouncing ball and I combine all of them into a single curve using the transfer attribute so this one is really powerful I only found out uh, recently that we can actually do this um, so I might be using this in the future so hopefully this is useful and it, um, I have another example similar similar one if I turn this scale and then rotate we have this if I if I turn off turn off pick instance and if I didn't turn off pick instance and if I actually didn't move the end we're gonna get like a repeating curve or if I disconnect this from the random value let me try adjusting this so I did some randomizations all over the place, but there we go. So this might be a little bit clearer. So we have the, the tree curve coming in into geometry instance. And apparently with the geometry instance okay we don't need this join geometry so this is a three different curve with different height repeating itself multiple times so this is uh, probably a better example than the first one let's save this say if I if I use random value for the instance it's generating this random value along the line okay yeah this is cool this is exactly what I want to show you and this is really handy in generating generating pattern in fact I want to randomize the position slightly random vector 
if I plug this into the offset, I might be able like I might be able to make some randomizations just in the X or and Y. Okay, let's just quickly do this. Okay, this is this is exactly what I want to show you. So now it's randomized, randomized in the X and Y positions. The arc is still looking the same. I just need to turn on also the rotations and the scale. Now it's much more complicated, but uh, the idea is the same. Three different arc coming in, pick random instance and randomize using this seed. So it's almost like um, edge adaptive, but it's not not hundred percent. It's it tries. Uh, it's just scattering this instance and then just combining all of them into a single curve. So I can use a single curve lines and the, the count to animate. So cricket, cricket walking around maybe okay. It's like sometimes it's just jumping. But you can you can you can always resemble it again somewhere here maybe instead of length I can just evaluate it uh, it's still like speeding speeding up but uh, I don't know maybe we could uh kind of interpolate the vector a little bit better somewhere here before transfer attribute um, I, yeah because I don't want this to jump between the arc it's doing the animations fine when it's doing the arc but it's zipped through when it's doing the connections all right um, and remember, we al we also have control over the end arc. So one thing that with quadratic Bezier, I wish there's a way so we can always make the middle always centered between the start and the end, so we can just control the arc. But I think this anyway, it might seem really confusing and complicated. But I think this example should clear up some uh, something like like if you are learning geometry nodes. This uh, example should give you some enlightening uh, enlightenment in, in a way. All right, so yeah, anyway, hopefully you find it useful. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you, bye.